wanted to tell you a little bit more on CPs and CVs and they are of course also dependent with temperature if you increase temperature or decrease temperature you're going to have changes on CP or CV you may take it as either constant for liquid and solids so the only problem will be for gases and for a general rule CV is always lower than CP we will see that later and how do you get CV? Well, you may find data, you may find graph, diagrams, etc. For example, you have this temperature. Let's say you wanted to heat from 5 Celsius to 10 Celsius chlorine gas. Uh, well, actually, because let's use easier number 505 Kelvin and 510 Kelvin. So that's about here and here. Let's go with fluorine, will be here and here. As you can see, this is relatively uh, 3.5. Uh, relatively low, the change, of course, it's almost nothing. 3.5 or something like that, a little bit, let's say 3.4, I don't know. Yeah, 3.4 suits, suits. So you got your CV right now and that's how you read them go here intersect with the substance and go left and once again if you wanted to calculate CV but you may not use let's say if you're going to heat HCl or hydrochloric acid from maybe here which is I don't know maybe 250 Kelvin and you're going to heat until you achieve a temperature of 1500 Kelvin well of course you cannot say that this is constant this is actually 3.2 and this will be I don't know maybe 2.8 even though it's pretty near I will not recommend that you will need to do an integral of the change on U equals that of the change on temperature and mass and CV so you want to Let's send that here, and you have your change on this. Just let me tell you that you will need to make the differential. So the differential on U equals CV. Let's change mass here, and you will send here T. And you will need to integrate from internal energy initially to final internal energy and initial temperature to final temperature. And you will need to find an equation that suits this line for this specific CV. And let me give you an example of CP and CV in the next video. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.